time. We are right here, and um, we are talking about what's happening in the world, which is all quite depressing, and we're talking to very interesting people. Uh, one of those interesting people tonight is Zahava Glazier. Da -da 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 -da. On live. Okay, good. Um, so, tonight on the show, we are going to be talking, and that's about it. But it should be pretty interesting. So that's what that's what they tell me. Um, it's a Friday night, and Rebecca Black, she sure wasn't kidding. Because it, it's getting down on Friday. So that's, oh, good. Now's the time to check your hair. It's not, it's an, it's an anxiety thing. Hi, I'm doing a show right now, so I'm, I'm doing it live. I'm just, I'm on two screens. All right, go ahead, talk. Professional. Hey, Zahaba, how are no, you dealing with the, the quarantine? Okay, the hair thing is an anxiety thing. It's like really bad anxiety. So just ignore that. Okay. <laughs> how are you dealing with the quarantine? How are you dealing with this? The quarantine, okay. Um, it's actually been really good for me. I know that's so fucked up to say. Okay. I I, uh, I was quarantining before the quarantine, and I don't say that lightly. Like, I was actually, like, not, like, so depressed. I'm kind of going through a phase right now where I'm trying to find the right medication because I've been on very bad ones that have not been good for my psyche. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of uh, quarantining before all this started. And then once the whole world quarantined, I was like, this is so fucked up, but I felt like relief because I was like, oh, like this is the first time I'm severely depressed and the world's not going on without me. Like they're kind of, they're on pause while I'm on pause, which is nice. Like I know that's why I know it's a lot of very, a lot of pain and suffering right now, which is terrible. Um, no, it is, but I'm, I am trying sure, to sure. take this time to, uh, just grow. I really want to work on myself right now. Uh, and I feel like, I feel like times like this really awaken like the important things in life. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, I'm like surprised when, and I don't, I'm not trying to judge people how they react to these things, but I'm like, people are like, Oh, I'm like trying to do this many squats a day so that I have a p hot post quarantine body. And I'm like, wow, we're really taking this world pandemic, <laughs> you know, into something <laughs> like we're really, you know, treating this. That's something that we can, uh, I don't know, I can't hear my headphones right now. That is very creepy. Do you, have, do you have headphones there you could plug in? What'd you say? Do you have headphones you could plug in? It might help a little. But I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, judge how people, you know, react to this kind of thing. Because you can't, you can't really do that. I mean, I'll, I do it anyways. But you, you, know, you shouldn't do that because this is not something that people are used to. I was thinking about it though. I was like, you know, this is what people did in the olden olden days. Like they, my little wine just showed, and in the olden days, uh, people lived like far away from their neighbors. They were alone all the time. They didn't mm -hmm. have to escape. Mm -hmm. All they had was just, I don't know. I just feel like even in our quarantine, we have it easier than the way humanity used to live. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's suffering if you're if if your regular way of life is taken away from you in any way. It's still it's still the you know the same level of suffering because it's just not what you're used to. So I'm just trying not to invalidate anyone. I'm just going in circles right now. <laughs> That's my problem. I need to just be a piece of shit. I like what? Keep trying. I just keep trying to not offend people, and it's like, so how about you're you should already you're basically canceled like you've already said horrible things you have nervous breakdowns every day online why are you even worried just be yourself like why why do i even try not to offend people like sure i don't know why i'm i dance in circles to try to not tips because i don't i don't know i don't want to hurt anyone i never want to hurt people except for bernie sports i'm kidding i'm totally kidding we just lost half our audience <laughs> i'm kidding all right, well, uh, it's time to move on to our uh, first segment on the show, which is what's happening in the world? Do you know what's happening in the world? Yeah, people are dying. Okay, well, we're talking about other things. 
Oh, oh, you, um, what's happening in the world? Yep. Okay, it, it's really easy. We'll talk about news stories. Okay. It's, it's super simple. Okay, it's like this. Like, um, uh, okay, in the Czech Republic, here we go. Even the nudists are being required to wear face masks in the Czech Republic. You know it's bad when you're forced to cover up that end of the body over the other. That's funny. That's when you know things are getting bad. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm curious if nudists are happier than non-nudists. Like, I'm genuinely curious. What Just in general? Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely curious how that if that takes away this, like, obsession with the body or if it, I don't know, if it makes, if people are happier being naked all the time. I mean, it kind of takes away the whole power of it you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying that uh, that obsession we have in america mm -hmm. and many other places but um i'm just picturing naked people wearing masks now and it's real weird it's disturbing it's very disturbing in, in my head it makes them look like ducklings just naked with like a condom on and a face mask <laughs> yeah you want to have the condom Which is offensive to say you just don't constantly have sex just because they're nude right but in my head they do well, and I've always said, <laughs> I've always what? said that face masks are. I've always said that those masks are the condoms of the face. Oh yeah, they're the condoms of your face. Yeah, I've seen more guys worry about wearing face masks than condoms <laughs> because apparently, sexually transmitted diseases aren't like a thing, but Corona is a thing. Oh yeah, Corona is yeah. a big thing. Well, you know, in this day and age, you can't. Happy fucking Passover, by the way. <laughs> Is this how they normally celebrate Passover? Is by just chugging wine? No, it's a nightmare. It's just all suffering. <laughs> uh, next, next story. Here we go. Uh, a recent Wall Street Journal article spoke about a man who was dating a chat bot, which, if we're being honest, is probably a better situation to date a computer than a real woman because you can always let the battery die. Whatever happened to good old-fashioned duct tape? <laughs> Yeah, that could work actually pretty well, probably. <laughs> I'm not used to, like, listening to, like, the full sentences of what you say. This is crazy. Wow, thanks. <laughs> no, that's actually really funny, though. What, is that a real story? Yeah, that's a real story that was, yeah. All these are real stories. <laughs> Do people not get that dating artificial intelligence is, like, dating your... Self? Do, do people not think that? Well, I guess they're dating an AI, so an art artificial intelligence that is built to be a personality, I think. So at what point does it become dating? Because then you can say you're, I mean, you're dating your dog more than AI. It's that's technically, that, that thing's alive and is technically responding to you from an authentic place uh -huh. in itself as opposed to a machine. Right. It's just, at what point is that? That's insane. I'm not fun. Did you invite me on the show to be fun? I'm not fun. I mean, originally. Uh, <laughs> you like keep saying jokes and I'm like, no, we need to dissect this. This isn't okay. Well, uh, at the Uncle Gary says, only a condom and a face mask is a fucking, <laughs> only a condom and a face mask is a fucking strong energy. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Gary, I miss you. I miss my comedian friends. And then Guyver UK says, at least the batteries might fit in a vibrator, which is a really good point. So if you don't let them die. Um, let's move on to the next story here. Uh, Trump has praised his own, his self and his own coronavirus response 116 times. So what a beautiful sentiment. Just one self-compliment for every 160 American deaths. What a beautiful man. That's, that's not so much a joke as a sad statement and math problem. It's horrific. Yeah, he's done a really good job. Let's just keep moving on. Here we go. Oh, see the average gas price in the state of Oklahoma. That's where we're at. Uh, the average gas price in the state of Oklahoma is now $1.39 a gallon. It's the lowest it's been in forever, which is really helpful. It's really helpful to millions of Oklahomans to drive around the block and back into their driveway. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Although, I'm, I'm, like, trying to figure out if everyone's binging and going to get bigger during this thing or if everyone's, like, 
so fucking bored that they're being more active or maybe they're running out of food. So everyone's just going to come out thinner. I'm, I'm very shallow. <laughs> this is what I think about. Oh, so you, <laughs> you care less about people's sanity and more about whether no, they're I, eating. I care about people's sanity. Every time I see someone who's still working, you know, somewhere mm-hmm. that I go to like a grocery or whatever, I'm like, you know, you're going to come out saner than the rest of us oh right? yeah definitely i tell them all i'm like you're gonna be okay if you don't die from corona you're gonna do great way better than i'm gonna do yeah there is the prerequisite of not dying from the virus yeah <laughs> if you can survive that <laughs> um well here's here's some news that doesn't have to do with the coronavirus which is or nice trump. or trump uh, so a new Netflix dating show is offering people a hundred thousand dollars to abstain from sex. Wait, I can make a hundred thousand dollars for not changing a thing in my life. <laughs> Wait, seriously, can I sign up? Like, where yeah. is I don't know what the process is for this. Did you guys hear that? $100, 000. Wait, $100, 000 a hundred thousand dollars. Wait, a hundred thousand dollars for just abstaining, abstaining from sex, from sex for, show? I think it was for a year. I think is what I was reading. So every, Orthodox Jew I grew up with. Mm-hmm. They could all be raking in a hundred thousand. Mean, that's like twenty five years of abs- <laughs> I wish you could make. Yeah, I wish you'd just get paid for every year you didn't have sex. <laughs> that would make. I think that would really flatten the curve of economic injustice. I don't think anyone would pay a man for that. Maybe a woman, because that's work. It's work for a woman to not have sex. For men to not have sex, that's just them <laughs> existing. <laughs> sex doesn't just come to men they have to work for it they have to look for it that's fair they have to hunt i guess if it said a hundred thousand dollars to abstain from any thing sexual oh masturbation as well yeah that might be a little harder i mean that's literally the people i grew up around <laughs> okay. no you can't okay. masturbate that's killing babies what? Where I come from, that's what we were taught. Men can't masturbate. I've never heard this before. What? Even doesn't Catholicism not allow masturbation? I don't know. I'm not Catholic. Oh well, you definitely. <laughs> I had a boyfriend when I was like I don't remember, and he couldn't. He didn't masturbate because he's. I mean, he's religious. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, he was bad for having a girlfriend, but <laughs> I didn't. But that's I mean, a different story. That's not somewhere you go. Like a yeah. man can't that's ejaculate. Marriage. That's that's like killing. It's called spilling seed. Yeah. Well, that's insane to me. Yeah, you're killing babies. God. Uh, okay. Well, here's an, here's our last story. We have one more. Uh, the number of people traveling by plane has dropped by about 96%. Makes sense. And yet somehow I still got the middle seat, so. (laughs) That's fine.